I don't believe that we're just on this earth to just work, pay bills and die. You have something inside of you that's supposed to be born, a, a passion, a desire. Bring that to life. When I was younger, I was a hater. I was a hater. I was like, mm, why these girls got all this makeup on their face? Actually, these girls be beat. And I was a hater. So when you are dating, don't fall for people who just talk the talk. Get with somebody who walked the walk. And if even if you don't got nobody in your corner, you stand in your own corner. Hello, hello, love ones. So today we are trying something new. I'm outside. We outside. Cause I told y'all, oh, there's a lot of noise. So I hope that we don't get a lot of the noise that is going on around here. I live in a very busy community, but I'll be 34 next month. Your girl is turning 34, and I wanted to come and talk about 34 things that I've learned in my 34 years. Okay, so it might be a little bit of a long video. It might, but we're just going to get into it, okay? Either way, we will figure out the kinks with the sound and the lighting eventually, okay? Okay. We're going to get into this content. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sonia Sarge, and this is Fully Loving Yourself. If you are new here, hey, how you doing? And if you are returning, welcome back. All right. Now, let's get into these 34 things that I learned in 34 years. And I'm going to try to keep this short, but it is 34 things. Okay. You know, we, we get a little bit up there. So... The first thing is advocate for yourself, okay? And this is in all situations. Don't let people play in your face. Advocate for yourself in the hospital rooms with these doctors. Advocate for yourself at these jobs. Advocate for yourself in your friendships and relationships. Make sure that you are standing on business about you. Okay, if you have questions, make sure you ask them. If you feel like something sounds off, make sure you are questioning that, right? Don't play about you. Advocate for yourself. Try different careers. Do not be tied down to one thing and get skills on your own. Figure out what you love to do. I bounced around so much when it came to my career and just finding myself and what I feel fulfilled in and happy in and also what pays the bills, right? We have to learn how to be able to do what we want to do while also living a lifestyle that we want to live. I started out in my job making 35K and I'm like, this, this, this can't be right. So that's another part of like advocating for yourself. I know I need to be making more money. So let me go ahead and find somewhere or something that allows me to make more money. Y'all, it is beaming. Oh my goodness. If you are watching this on the video, please, please give me some grace. Cause honey, maybe I can go find some shit. I don't know, but we're going to keep going. Experience new things, foods, experiences, people, date Okay, experience new things as far as your job, experience new things as far as food, travel, live your life. Like, don't just settle for what other people tell you is right or what's in your environment. Try new things when they're offered to you. Not everything, not everything, but you know, <laughs> try new things when they're offered to you. Experience, experiment, you know. Figure out who you are through living your life. Uh, social media is not real. Wait, no. Social media is real, but not really. There's a lot of people on social media who don't really show everything. They don't show all the parts, right? They show either the end result. They don't really show the entire journey. They just show what they want you to see. And... I mean, that's cool and all, but there's a lot of people who will take what they see on social media and take that and run with it and think this is exactly how life is supposed to be. And they take relationship advice off social media and they don't realize that 
a lot of times the social media, this is people's jobs, you know, like people are online to sell a lifestyle or online to sell a dream. So social media is real. Get what you can get out of it and then throw away the rest. Like I was like, is somebody peeing? No, that's just water. Um, yeah. So take what you can get from social media and then throw away the rest because people be on here pump faking. People be in debt. They be lying. They don't be happy. Just, yeah, social media is real, but it's not real. Okay. Take everything that you see in here with a grain of salt, especially with like people's journeys and stuff. Everybody has different ways that they approach things. So just see what fits for you and your lifestyle. You know, let it educate you a little bit and then just keep it moving. All right. Yeah. Learn how to apologize and take accountability. You're not always right. Ooh. Now, this was hard for me because I'm just like, what do you mean? I'm not always right. Accountability. What? You know? But no. Um, we have to learn to take accountability when we are wrong. Allow people to check us. We got to allow people to check us. People who love us. Because there was a point in time in my life where I was allowing people to come in and say things to me about me that I knew wasn't right, but I took it at face value. You're like, oh, well, maybe they're right. And I'm just like, after a while, I'm just like, mm-mm, that's not, that's not me. That's not how I operate. Don't let nobody tell you who you are. You know, you got to find out who you are for yourself. And, but in the process of that, learn how to apologize when you are wrong and take accountability for when you do make a mistake. It does nothing but make life easier for you um, and makes your relationships easier as well, I think. Okay, next, be who you want to be in your relationships. So if you want good friends, be a good friend. If you want a good partner, be a good partner. Start with yourself too. Be be a good friend and be a good partner to yourself. Like the things that you want a partner to give to you in your relationship, make sure that you're doing those things for yourself. If you want somebody to take care of your upkeep and buy you flowers and do all of these things, make sure that you're already doing these things for yourself. And then, you know, you'll be more equipped to require them in your relationships but also when you realize that you're not being as good of a friend or as good of a partner in your relationships be willing to again be checked and let people know like hey this I'm not happy with this or hey you know I would like you to do more of this and try to find a balance um that's comfortable for you to where you're not like changing your entire self to fit in to a relationship but you know compromising in the relationship if you want the relationship to last and that goes with jobs family relationships friendships intimate relationships learn how to what is the word? Like adjust, but you know, just be flexible in things. All right. Communication. Oh my goodness. Learn how to communicate. Now, this was something that people had to tell me about myself and something that I'm actively working through. I have like a, a trauma thing around communicating with people who get angry when you communicate with them. So on one hand, communicate but also allow people to communicate with you. Like be an open receiver when people are communicating. Like for me, I don't have a problem communicating with people, but I don't like communicating with people who don't hear me, who don't see me and who get angry when I do communicate and don't allow me to like get it out. But learning how to communicate in relationships, again, ties back into just relationships and advocating for yourself. And if you realize that you struggle with a certain type of communication, find a commu communication style that fits you and that works for you. For me, I'm a writer. Like, I will write you a letter. I'll write you a long text. I'll write you an email until I feel comfortable with you know, speaking out loud and using my voice. It's, it's, it's a work in progress. Okay. Therapy works if you work it. Okay. I've been in therapy since I was 14 years old. 
I know all my problems. I know all my things. And so I had to move on to a different form of therapy. I said in one of my most recent videos, I'm currently in EMDR therapy, which is eye movement desensitization reprocessing therapy. And it helps people who do it with like anxiety and PTSD and initially was used for like veterans and things. But now your girl is in it. Um, and I'm really excited to see where this goes. Because CBT therapy is good, you know, to start um, talk therapy. But once you get to a point where you all talked out, maybe it's time to try a different form of therapy. And there are so many different types of therapy. So become aware of how to utilize therapy, um, massage therapy. I'm a massage therapist. And, you know, just do the work that you need to do on yourself. Don't just go to a session and be like, oh, I don't like this person. Find another person shop therapist like don't just give up on your healing because you don't like the person who's offering the service because a lot of times we go to therapy to heal from traumas that other people have inflicted on us you might be inflicting trauma on somebody because you're unhealed so go to therapy try therapy try different kinds and yeah get your healing okay People will judge you and you cannot care. Live your life the way that you want and not how others want you to live it. Now, when I was in my early 20s, I struggled with this. Like I wanted I wanted to do everything right. I wanted to do everything perfect. I wanted to be loved. I wanted you to like me. This was especially true in like my family and my biggest res my biggest regret was going away to college at a school that I did not want to go to. Because my family wanted me to be closer to home. Biggest regret. I wish I would have went to the school that I wanted to go to. Sorry to my friends that I made in college. But I did not have a good college experience. Um, but like, what can you do? You know. So if you are young and watching this. Or whatever age you are. Live your life for you. Uh, yeah. People will judge you. and Yeah. People will judge you. And you can't care. And that's just with everything in life, right? Like, if you want to do something with your life, people might not agree with it. People might not like the way that you go about sharing things. People might not like the fact... I know people don't like the fact that I share a lot on social media. That is not my problem. Oh, wait. We have company. Gotta move. Yeah, people might not like... Pretty, they, they probably don't like the way that you do things, and they're not going to tell you. They're going to judge you behind your back. And you can't think about it. You can't care about it because it will stop you from getting all that God has for you. If you care about people judging you and, and liking you. And it's a journey. It's been a journey for me to stop caring um, how people think. And that was actually the next one. Be okay or become okay with being disliked. What people think about you is none of your concern. Literally. Become okay with people not liking you and the way that you live your life because that will stop you and hold you back. Like if you are always in your head like me, always in my head like, oh my gosh, if I post this, what are people going to think? People from high school that see me on Facebook, people, you know, that people from my past, people, my family, what are they going to think? Girl, who cares? Are they paying your bills? No. They're not, they're not pushing in on nothing. So just do what you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, what makes you feel fulfilled. Become okay with people not agreeing with your process or not agreeing with how you move out here in the world. And just live your happy life. Live your happy life. Next, support people when and how you can, but do not internalize it when you cannot. You just can't. If somebody reaches out to you, I, I don't know. Maybe this is just a me thing. But when people reach out to me and they need help and I can't help them, I feel so bad. I feel so bad when I can't help people. Um, but you just can't. You can't internalize it. You can't take a personal. Um, give people resources. Help them out how you can. And then just keep it moving. Because trying to help everybody else when you're trying to help yourself will keep you broke and it'll keep you stagnant and it'll keep you just down probably where they are it'll keep you broke did i say that it'll keep you broke yeah trying to help out everybody um when i was in college i spent the majority of my refund check feeding everybody else feeding the entire campus why did i do that i'm in so much more debt because i was making 
six pans of lasagna to feed my classmates. I don't even talk to these people no more. Listen, <laughs> stop trying to help everybody. Help yourself first and let people, you know, figure out on their own. They're going to ask somebody else for help if you can't help them. They're going to be all right. Okay? they going to be all right. Don't internalize it. Learn how to be more grateful than negative when you are not where you are in life. Don't get sucked into the trap of comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. I Like, you hear that, but when you really sit and think about it, like, when you compare your life to somebody else's, it really does rob you of your happiness. And it really does rob you of the joy that you could have. But you're sitting there thinking about, why doesn't my life look like that? Why don't I have these things? And I got caught up in that. I posted a video and I was just like, I don't understand why this isn't working for me. What is going on? I'm working so hard. Girl, work harder. Keep going. <laughs> Stop. Compare yourself to everybody else's journey because this is your journey. And everybody's journey looks different. And regardless of what they got going on, focus on what you got going on. Okay? Learn how to operate in gratitude. Just be thankful that you got another day to try. Just thank, be thankful for where you currently are in your life. And just keep it moving. Keep going. Listen to your body around food and around people. Now, this is... I think I wrote this somewhere. Trusting yourself. Trusting your intuition. And just trusting your body. Listening to your body. When you eat something and it makes you feel pain or it makes you tired <clears throat> or you're around people and they make you anxious, that is your intuition and your body trying to tell you something. Get away from these people and get away from this thing. Stop eating this thing. I don't like this. Don't ignore that because ignoring that can keep you from years of pain and trauma and turmoil and pain and sickness and you, you don't want that. Be aware of how much you share and with who you share it with because people will prey on you and that's men and women, friends and foes. Now, I am an over sharer. I love to share with people to help them in their journeys. I love to share bits and pieces of like my life and my journey and my story, but there are people who are not good people. Not everybody's a good person. And I had to learn that. And it was just like, what do you mean? Like, why would you be mean to me? Why wouldn't you be nice to me? Like, why? I don't get it. I still don't get it. But I'm learning that there are people who will prey on you um, based on the things that you share and are open with. Like, for me, I was very open with my journey of like wanting, I don't even think that I was saying that I wanted like female friendship. I have a lot of friends, but the fact that I was missing a maternal figure in my life, people prayed on that. Take me under their wing, like, oh, I'm you, I'll be your auntie, I'll be your sis, I'll take you all these things. And then they use my vulnerability to their advantage, or they tried to, until I caught on to that shit. Because we're not, we not doing that. No, ma'am, no ham. So, yeah, be aware of how much you share because people will prey on you. And also with men, too. Like, if you're a woman, you know, when you get comfortable with a person, just be mindful of who you sharing your business with, you know? Take more solo dates, baby. Take care of you. Love on you. Take yourself out. Even though I'm married, I still take myself out. I'm going on a date. I'm taking me out. I'm going to go get me something to eat. I'm going to go get my hair done, my nails done. I'm going to go for a walk. Because when you pour into yourself and you love on you, it just makes you feel good. And when you get into the practice of doing that, whether you're single or in a relationship, it prepares you for the next stages of your life. Like, I feel like when I have children, I'm still going to want to go on a solo date. Here's your baby. Give the baby, you know, to my husband. Here's your child. I'm going on a walk. I'm going, you know, I don't know. People say that it might change. I don't know. Don't got kids yet, but I'm preparing myself. I'm going to go grocery shopping by myself and get a bouquet of flowers and just love on me. You know, we got to practice loving on us. Be bougie, regardless of how that makes anybody else feel, and let people take care of you. Ask for help. I was called bougie because I didn't want to shop at a certain grocery store because I wanted to go and get organic food. 
how you gonna be mad at me because I'm caring about what I'm putting in my body? How is that bougie? But when people aren't used to living the lifestyle that you are living or wanting to live, if if they're not like hip to it, they're going to call you bougie. Don't even don't even stress it. Don't even let people get to you in that way. Oh, you're a diva. Uh, you're bougie. No, I just like to live a quality life that I'm living. I'm trying to get to a place. I'm sorry if if you ain't, if you not. But this is where I'm at. And yeah, I'm doing what's best for me. I hope, you know, I'm cutting my, cutting my head off because I'm trying to be close to y'all. I'm getting skinny. See? Sexy mama. It's okay to rest. Rest is productive. I was taught to hustle, 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 hustle. Black woman, you got to be strong. You got to get all 17 of those degrees. All the certifications. You got to take care of everybody and yourself. Girl, if you don't go lay your ass down, go lay down. Rest is productive. Get out of hustle mode and get you a routine, mama. Routines are helpful. Now, for me, somebody who's been diagnosed with ADHD, um, I didn't realize how important having a routine was for me until I didn't have one. And so I got out of my routine. Now I'm learning till I have a morning routine and a nighttime routine as far as like skincare and stuff. I always had like a, a morning and night time routine as far as like how I ate, but not necessarily like, no, I've had, I've always had a horrible nighttime routine. Like that's, I struggle with that. Keeping my phone away from me. We working on it. It's a work in progress. But getting a routine and learning how to rest. Turn your brain off, honey. You ain't got to be working 24-7. Because whatever God has for you is for you. It's going to come. You ain't got to stress yourself out. Because that's how we make ourselves sick. Okay? Take care of your space. No matter how long you'll live there. Make it your own. This is also something that we talked about. I moved around a lot. I think I'm in like my 44th address because I was in foster care and then with my mom. We moved around a lot. I don't know why, but I love moving around. I love bouncing around. My husband, he's he's not with it. But I, it was hard for me to learn how to appreciate my space and to take care of my space uh, and to decorate it. You know, I'm still trying to get to the point of decorating what is that? I'm still getting to a point of decorating and making it my own and making it cute and pretty. So y'all will get the update on that. Okay. People will give you advice. And a lot of times it's really just their fears being projected on to you. Live your life for yourself. Before I left home, everybody was like, oh my God, what do you mean you're going to leave home? What about this? What about that? What about them, honey? I gotta go live my life yeah take people's advice with a grain of salt you know in this space that i'm in now as far as like preparing for motherhood and all those things i'm learning everything like i'm hearing the horror stories and i'm trying to find like the not so horror stories and i you know with preeclampsia something that i'm down this rabbit hole now of trying to figure out like why are so many women black women getting preeclampsia what is that about um you know, and when you absorb a lot of other people's experiences, it can instill a lot of fear in you. Don't let it do that. Don't let other people's fears take root in you because it will keep you from doing something that you might be meant to do. Because I might I might be, you know, having a baby um, and I want to not think so much about all the horror stories. I do want to, you know, be able to enjoy my experience and a lot of times like doctors will project fears onto you but anything in life don't let people project their fears onto you whether it be in marriage childhood traveling anything don't let people's experiences be projected onto you in a fearful way where it stops you from doing something like before i went to aruba by myself people were like oh didn't you hear about that that girl that died over there that was like 10 years ago and she was like the only person that that ever happened to yeah live your life they were not lying about drinking your water oh my goodness water is the real adult drink we need to drink more water it's my oh my camera's overheating guys 
My camera's overheating. Drink more water. Drink more water. They were not lying about drinking your water. Okay. We are a very dehydrated, you know, crew of people here on earth. And we need to drink more hydration, you know, water. I'm stuttering over my words because my camera is heating up water, coconut water, hydrating fruits and vegetables. It impacts us, especially women who deal with like hormonal stuff um, and your periods and stuff. Make sure you're drinking more water and enough water, okay? Um, this is future me editing this in because I cannot believe that I left this out and I hope that it fits somewhere within these 34 numbers. But if it don't, this is going to be a bonus. Cycle syncing. Oh my goodness. That is one of the main key things that I've learned in my 34 years that has like impacted my life dramatically. Once I learned cycle syncing, my entire life changed. My entire life changed. And so I would be just silly. It would just be silly of me if I did this video where women will see it and not add that in there. Learn cycle syncing if you do not know how to do that. I have a video that talks about it briefly, but do your research. Have more fun that doesn't include smoking and drinking. When I learned to have more fun that doesn't include drugs and alcohol, wow, the way like the way my life changed. Like I'm finding new things to do. Horseback riding, pottery, skating. We had to move guys out of the sun. Okay. Um, learn more about money early. Credit cards, budgeting, impulsive buying, like all of it. Learn more about money early. I started learning about credit when I was 18, but I ain't take it serious. I just thought that credit cards was free money and we was out here balling, living life, living large. No, credit cards are not free money. Learn how to budget, learn about 401ks, Roth IRAs, learn about all of those things. When you switch jobs, learn about taking your 401ks and your 403bs with you. Learn about putting $20 a check away to, you know, stack for retirement because we don't know if we're actually going to have retirement and then we get to retirement age. But yeah, learn about money, learn about budgeting to be able to take care of yourself. I know right now it's like, oh, I, I need a man to take care of me. That's cool. That's right. Oh, excuse me, but he got bills to pay too. So learn how to take care of yourself. Learn how to make money and learn how to manage your money. All right. It is okay to make new friends and let old ones go. Just is what it is. Everybody might not make it to the end. And that's all right. Okay, it's all right to make new friends, open your heart up to new people. Don't be bitter about past traumas. If I would have held on to the pain that I went through in my old friendships, I wouldn't have made new friends who are better for where I'm at in my life right now. And also just realizing that some people are seasonal. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. You know, um, we connect with certain people for certain reasons. A lot of times our friendships are trauma bonds and we don't even realize it. A lot of times your friends is jealous of you. A lot of times your friends don't even really like you and you don't realize it. Get you some new good friends. It's all right to let the old ones go. It's okay to be alone for a little bit, you know, and get you some new girlfriends. Open your heart up and let the love flow in. And that goes with my next one. Move your body. Move just in general. Move in life. Move your body. Move into alignment and flow of life. Become fulfilled. Just get into the flow of life. I'm learning more about becoming aligned and less overwhelmed when you are out of alignment with the direction that God has for your life. And just out of alignment in general, you become overwhelmed and frustrated with life and depressed and anxious and all those things. Just go with the flow. Just move according to like, you know, just how you feeling. Like I'm, I'm feeling like going for a walk today. You never know what could happen on that walk. Go for that walk. Just move. Don't be stagnant. Don't allow stagnation to become your lifestyle. Um, and that's also a part of healing as well, right? Moving with the lymphatic system, with your physical system, just all of it. Just move and just, yeah, get things moving. 
And I also with that to move, get things moving. Poop, gotta poop. And that that wasn't on my list, but you definitely gotta get things moving in that way. Make sure that you're pooping, okay? And the reason why I say that is because pooping. <laughs> sorry, kind of diverted, but um, not getting your bowels moving is it plays a big part in fibroid growth and development and also colon cancer, which is like a, a lot of people are passing away from that very young because we're not using the bathroom enough. We got to take better care of our, of our colons guys. We got to, we got to use the bathroom more often. I remember when I was in college, I was popping laxatives like candy. That was a problem. I should have told somebody about that, but I was just like, ah, I'll nah, take this laxative. No, that was a problem. Now we, we're getting it going. I love going to the bathroom. You got to love going to the bathroom. Get things moving, okay? Believe in yourself, even when nobody else believes in you. Because if you have a dream, if you have something that you want to do in your life and you don't have anybody to believe in you or you have people putting you down, that can cause you to give up on yourself. That can cause you to give up on your dream. And we don't want that. We want you to reach your highest potential. And if even if you don't got nobody in your corner, you... Stand in your own corner, okay? Be that own little person on your shoulder. Root, hype yourself up. Root for you until you get to where it is that you want to be. And by the time you get to where it is that you want to be, you're going to have a whole lot of hype people. You're going to have a whole lot of people who believe in you. A lot of times when God gives us a dream, <laughs> no, every time God gives us a dream, he don't give it to everybody. He give it to us. So people are not going to see your dream the same way that you see it. So just keep pushing. If you know that you are meant to, to do or be somebody or something, go for it. Don't don't let the lack of support and external validation keep you from your end result, your end goal, your dream. Okay? Makeup is okay. Oh my goodness. When I was younger, I was a hater. I was a hater. I was like, mm, why these girls got all this makeup on their face? Actually, these girls be beat. And I was a hater because I didn't know how to do it. I was a tomboy. And I also I wanted to learn how to do my makeup and hair and all of that stuff. And I was just like, I don't need all of that stuff. Well, now I'm at the point where I do. And I'm glad that I got out of that mindset. Um, you know, a little light beat, a little concealer here and there in your eyebrows and eyelashes. It's okay. Right? Like doing doing your makeup is it's all right. In relationships with boys or girls, men or women, learn discernment. Make people back up stuff that they say. I was a person who I let people talk a lot and I wouldn't wait for the result. I just, I, words of affirmation was just my thing. And my ex told me, he was like, the reason why you keep, you know, meeting these people is because you, you fall for talkers. And I'm glad that my husband is not a talker. He's a doa. So when you are dating, don't fall for people who just talk the talk. Get with somebody who walk the walk. And and sometimes they will play the long game. Stick around, okay? Don't let people play the long game with you until they get what they want out of you. Make sure that they're legit. Use your discernment. If you know something's off, trust yourself, trust your intuition, Okay, don't forget your passions because one of them might be able to make you some money, a little bit of coin. But just in general, don't forget your passions. Don't forget the things in life that make you light up. I don't believe that we're just on this earth to just work, pay bills and die. You have something inside of you that's supposed to be born, not a child, but a gift, um, a, a passion, a desire Bring that to life. Don't die with dreams inside of you. Don't forget your passions and just let them live. Give life to them. Think about what do you want people to say about you at the end of your life? You know, I know I want people, I know people going to be, I, I live life on my terms and I did like anything that I said I wanted to do, I did. And I, oh, I tried to do on some level of capacity, like, don't let your dreams die inside of you. Live out all of your passions and all of your dreams. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but at some point, bring them to life. Don't just leave them by the wayside. Bring them hobbies back to life, lovely. Don't get distracted. It can cost you a lot. Distractions. Here I am as somebody with ADHD talking about being distracted. I'm distracted daily, honey. But this is why I'm saying 
that being distracted can cost you a lot. If I had been focused, if I could just get focused on one thing, I'd probably be in a different circumstance or a different situation. But that's all right. You know, working out the kinks, we're getting there. We're 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 getting to it, right? But being distracted by um, negative things, like what other people got going on, other people's drama, um, trying to take care of everybody else and a mama, it can cost you a lot. It can cost you your, your dreams. It can cost you a lot. Don't be distracted by what's going on out there in the streets. Focus on what you got going on in your house and your relationship within yourself. Don't be distracted by other people's mess, other people's stuff on online and don't care about what did he got going on. Or don't care about none of that stuff, you know, and I'm somebody who loves gossip tea. So that is that's a, that's a one for me, too. I, I'm i like, man, I, I, I love some tea. I love some tea, but can't get distracted. I will delete social media so quick. Reflect on how you're feeling. Thank you, iPhone. I will uh, delete social media so quick. Um, cause we got, we got to get back on track and focus on our stuff, on our end goal and our end result. Make sure y'all still hear me. Be more curious. Ask more questions. I am a student of life. I want to know everything. I want to know about all the things. I want to know what makes you tick. I want to know how they got to where they got. I want to know how that rock was formed. I want to know it all because that can help me maybe later on in my life in developing relationships with people or just in my journey in general you never know how learning about life can help you on your journey it's just be more curious like just have a zest for life you know be more curious um and ask more questions don't just let life just be what it is you know ask questions like well if this is happening to me why is this happening to me if you know if i feel like this why do i feel like this you know like ask more questions get more curious get more involved yeah family is important but community is more important now i say this because like i you know i'm foster care foster care kid um family is important but i didn't always know or wasn't always close to my biological family so i had to build community um and i'm in a space now where i'm meeting a lot more of like my biological family but i've learned that my community that i've built is important like the community that you build are going to be the ones who are there for you and that's not necessarily going to always be people that you're blood related to and you got to be okay with that like your family's not always going to be your biggest supporter they're not always going to be the ones that show up for things but your community will Build your community on people who genuinely, you know, connect with you, understand you, love you in a way that you need. Family ain't always going to do that, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's all right. Heal your emotional trauma and understand how stress and trauma cause disease early. Learn how to have emotional regulation and intelligence because it plays a very big part. Our emotional health is such a big deal. And I've always been called sensitive, emotional, all these things. And I am. I am. But learning how, like, stress of life and childhood trauma and just, like, trauma in general and just not having emotional regulation plays a big part in disease in our bodies and in communication and in relationships and how we function in this world. Oh, my goodness, it plays such a big part. So please do some research on that. Do some research on yourself. Learn how to regulate yourself emotionally because I always say to my husband, had I been the woman that I used to be, I wouldn't be with him. Like <laughs> people are so like they find it so funny now that like I don't react the way that I used to. Like I used to be very angry. I used to pop off. Now I'm just like, okay, that's cool. You know, maturing uh, emotionally, I'm not as, I don't pop off as much as I used to, and I'm more willing and able to listen to people and hear people out. So learn how to balance your emotions and heal your emotional trauma with a counselor, coach, journaling. Y'all know how I am about journaling. Get you some journal prompts. I actually have some journal prompts that you can get down in the description box below. Go get you one of them journals, honey. And yeah, you know, heal yourself. Don't rush things in life because you'll want to remember the moment that you cannot get back. 
my sister-in-law told me this on my wedding day. She was like, take in the mental memories. And I was like, okay. I didn't do that as well as I should have. But don't rush things in life. Take your time. And this is something that I'm still in the process of learning because like I, I be rushing. I be going, 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 going. But learning to slow down and just like taking a moment like, huh, this is beautiful. This is a good moment. I like the way this feels. I like you know, being in your presence. I like, you know, I like how this feels, you know, just being present. That's what it is. Mindfulness, present, being more present. Don't rush in life. Um, and just soak it all up. Cause at the end of your life, you want to have memories. And I don't have a lot of memories from like my childhood or just like, you know, cause I just be rushing. I just be rushing and I'm learning to slow down, take it in. And lastly, don't let people hurt you without speaking on it. Maybe that ties back into like emotional healing. But yeah, when people hurt your feelings, let them know that they did it. Like, mm mm. But all in all, I want y'all to know that you don't have to be one way. Society will try to tell you that you do, but you don't. Be yourself. Being on social media will try to make you feel like you got to be a certain type of way. You got to show up a certain type of way in order to be accepted, in order to be loved, in order to get all the things. Maybe, but that might not make you happy. Probably won't make you happy. Just be yourself. And whatever is meant for you, whatever is meant to come to you, whatever is meant for you to have, it will come. And it'll come on its own time, on God's time, not on ours. So don't rush it. Just enjoy the process of living life. Just love life. Love your life fully. Love yourself fully. Just enjoy the journey. Have fun while doing it. Go skip. Do some hopscotch. Double judge. Blow some bubbles. Have fun, guys. I'm excited to turn 34. Oh my gosh, not me exposing my age. <laughs> but I feel like 33 was so reflective and you know introspective and i've grown so much and I, I look good i feel good like 33 was a bomb ass year and i'm really looking forward to 34 and i have like a big goal that i want to meet by 35 but what did i just say we are taking in the moment we are not rushing through life i'm just enjoying where i'm at and taking it day by day and just enjoying this beautiful view in this moment with you so if you not yet subscribed to the channel please become one of my loved ones and become a part of my community <laughs> and i will catch y'all in the next video let me know in the comments um how the sound was how y'all how y'all was messing with this trying to trying to try some new things trying to get the podcast up and running because i feel like that is going to be better for me just a better setup and fit for me because <clears throat> it's not um you know it's not like super i don't know the word that i'm looking for but yeah i think that'll be better for me and i really enjoyed this so let me know if you also enjoyed this in the comments and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.